Today we're picking up a G-Wagon. That's probably made quite obvious already. Right, where is it? Look at this. Damn, this thing is badass. Hi, How are you? Hi. You good? Yeah. This thing is so cool. All blacked out. I like what you've done. It looks cool coming down the road. Yeah. And inside it's all black as well. Uh, it's red. It's red? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, sick. Right, hello legends. You join me, obviously, in a G63, uh, which you maybe, may or may not, I'm not sure if we're putting it in this video, have just seen me taking delivery of. I'm gonna make a full video on this car, but I wanna spend a little bit of time with it. I've got it, you know, for most of the week. And so I wanna spend some time driving around in this car to make a video, which is, you know, what is it actually like to live with a G-Wagon? in the city because I see so many driving around and every you know often people are like my dream car is a G-Wagon, G-Wagon, G-Wagon. I was like okay let's see what this is all about. So that's a video which will be coming soon but not quite yet. Today I'm just answering some of your questions about the R8 and also I'm going to show you a lap of mine on the uh, French F1 circuit but we'll get to that in a little bit. First of all a couple questions about the R8 because I just announced in this video which you'll see on the screen right now that I was set, well, that I am currently selling my R8 at DMB Collection with Dean. Um, he's got it up for sale already. It will be on his website, and all the information will be down below. Mileage, pricing, everything. So that if you are interested, you can just call Dean up. I'll put all his information down below as well. And um, yeah, the car is for sale there. But sparked up a lot of um, questions. Me saying that I was selling the R8. So. Kerwan next to me here has written down a few of the questions that are coming up the most often. They're gonna pop onto the screen now and I'm gonna answer them. Now this popped up quite a bit and I understand it to be honest because when I watch YouTubers and they're like buying, selling cars, I always feel like, wow, didn't he like just get that car? But in reality, no, the car, they've often had the car for quite a while. And because, you know, when you're watching YouTube videos, you kind of dip in and out and you don't realize quite how long someone's had a car for now. I know a lot of people are saying, God, it feels like you just got the R8. It's actually been a full year, full 12 months that I've had the R8, which is a decent amount of time to own a car like that. You know, I put a decent amount of mileage on it. And uh, so, yeah, I just figured it was kind of the right time to sell for various different reasons. And no, it wasn't rented. So a lot of people obviously feel like you haven't had the car for a long time. So they're like, oh, was it rented just to make YouTube videos? Absolutely not. So this, I actually bought uh, without finance. At the Ferrari, I've gone on a financing uh, deal. Um, so I pay monthly financing costs for that. Well, the R8 was not financed. I actually bought it with through collecting cars, like an online auction. And yeah, there were videos all of, of all of that. And obviously it's very hard to finance through that. So yeah, there you go. The car was not rented. It was not financed or anything like that, which is why I'm not really in a rush to sell it either because it's not like I've got payments I'm making every month on the car. So I don't really mind when it goes. Uh, yeah, this was one that kept coming up. Why did I not just put French license plates and keep it in France? So there's a very, very simple reason, or two very simple reasons for that. One, it's extremely expensive to register a car like that in France these days. Because of the pollution outputs of the car, it's just crazy expensive. And in 2021, they're raising that even further. It's like 20,000 or 25,000 to register that car in France. So that's reason number one, which I'm sure we'll all agree is a pretty good reason. Reason number two is because it's right and drive. And effectively, right and drive, that car would be unsellable in France. So it made no sense to register it in France because yeah, just, I would never be able to sell it again and it would cost me a fortune. So might as well keep it in the UK, sell it in the UK. And that's what we're doing. How expensive was the insurance? This is one that comes up a lot. UK insurance is a lot more expensive than a lot of others because you kind of insure the person on the car. Now, my, insu my insurance was, I think, around five and a half thousand pounds a year, which was actually around the same as what I paid for my Alpine, even though it had double the horsepower but just because of driving history and having more experience, etc., which is a lot of money. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you were getting ripped off, but I preferred having full comprehensive, full everything, being able to drive it anywhere at any time and not stressing and having all the, all the insurance you need. I think that's a cost which is justified and 
it has to be part of the final cost of the car that you put aside. So it was expensive. Uh, a lot of people are asking that, and I completely understand why you know, people would be curious. 23-year-old, 550 horsepower, Audi R8 V10. That's how much it was. Now, after answering that question, we're just gonna take a little, little break, <laughs> a little ad break. No, I'm joking, it's not an ad break. It is just a video of me driving around Paul Ricard track. I went this weekend and I didn't think it was a full video, but I thought, you know what, I'll splice it into Wednesday's video. It's me and the Delara, which is an absolute track weapon, full carbon chassis, 400 horsepower, 800 kilos of downforce. So anyways, just enjoy the lap and a bit of my French commentary with subtitles. Hello, la famille. On est au circuit, là. Je suis avec Daniel. On a la back question is hope you enjoyed that next question yes actually here's a fun little video dean sent me of him taking the wrap off of the car well, the wrap has obviously been taken off it was the first thing that they did dean took care of that straight away um and yeah it's just because you know the wrap i mean first of all really divided opinion some people loved it some people hated it i understand it wasn't the prettiest wrap in the world but it was very sentimental. Like what it represented um, to me was very cool. So that's why I really like that rap, but it doesn't mean anything to anyone else. So I completely understand why, you know, why people were wondering if I was gonna keep that rap or not. The answer to that question is no, it is off the car. And the car is available with Dean for just under 70,000 pounds, I believe. 41,250 miles. And it's just had its full service. It's like in perfect nick, the car, so. Yeah, that is the car. All the details will be down below if you are interested in buying it. I have been getting bombarded by this question. Am I going to replace the R8? What's going to replace the R8? What's the next step? Bloody, bloody, blah, blah, blah. Well, the answer, <laughs> bloody, bloody, blah. I would be wondering the same thing. And I was asking, 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 asking myself the same thing. And the honest answer is I don't think so for now purely because I love my Ferrari um, and I don't see myself buying anything else in that price range or even in a little bit more right now, at least. So yeah, I really like that car and through having the R8 and the Ferrari at the same time, I realized how I really don't need two car, two supercars like that. I daily drive my Renault Twizy around Monaco, you know, it's two square miles here. So much more convenient to have a little car like the Twizy to park. I have an electric push scooter, which I also take to work if it's good weather. Um, yeah, so I drive those every day and then on the weekends I'll now I take the Ferrari out and I was kind of sometimes taking one weekend the Ferrari one weekend the R8 which is just such a luxury that I don't need um, and at the moment you know with everything that's going on in the world it's not a bad thing to put a little bit of money aside so you know I, I figured it was probably smarter to sell the R8 as well and there's no need for me to replace it right now so you know, I don't feel like I want to be pressured into getting something else just because of, you know, YouTube, etc. I'm like, you know what? I'm very happy with the Ferrari. I'm very happy the way it is. I don't need any more. So let's just stick with that for now. And if, if you know, a great deal pops up, then maybe. 
you know, I'll pounce on it at that point. Um, if I decide I want to replace the, the the Ferrari, sorry, then maybe at that point, you know, the Ford GT is on the way too. Have to put money aside for that. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of reasons for why I don't think right now that I'm in the position to um, to just buy another car like that. I'd love to be. I'd love to just be able to go and buy it, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to. So uh, there we go. No replacement for the R8 as of yet, but you guys know me. I mean, even buying that car in the first place was very spontaneous. Selling it's very spontaneous, so there may be something that pops up really quickly. Voila! I think that's all the questions. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it cleared the air a bit on the R8, and I hope you enjoyed my lap. Please don't criticize my lap too much at Paul Ricard. It was very slow, I'm aware. I'm not a racing driver, but also I didn't know the track at all. I didn't know if the le next corner was going right or left, and I never drove that car on track. I'm just trying to pretend I'm a racing driver by coming up with racing driver excuses, and you don't know what I'm talking about because you don't speak English. Yes, it's true. It, it is true. There we go. Video coming on this G-Wagon soon. A lot of G-Wagon G -Wagon? G fans out there, I am aware. So I um, hope you guys will enjoy that one, and uh, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.